What's up guys, I'm Paul the Tech Giant and tonight I'm going to be giving you some more tips and tricks for your 2021 LG OLED TV. Big thanks to the guys at box.co.uk for sending over the LG B1 OLED, which has allowed me to make this video for you guys. So if you are looking to purchase a new TV, then please go and check out their link in the description. Now, if you buy a TV from Box, you're not only just supporting the channel, but you'll be doing yourself a favor because if you're to purchase a TV like this, you'll be able to take advantage of the free five-year protection plan that is included, the free delivery, and the fact that they also price match all the major competitors. So you've got no good reason not to buy from them. So go check out their link in the description. Right, let's get underway then. And the first thing that I wanna show you is just how to get the basic settings up. So grab your remote control and press on the settings button just once. Now what we can do, as you can see, is select any of these using the magic pointer, which is really handy. What you do is hover over and to press enter, what we do is push down on that scroll wheel. Now, if you don't want to use the actual pointer, what you can do, you can use the directional buttons at any point. And if you want to get the pointer back up again, what you can do is give the remote a shake and then it will reappear. So what I'm going to do is select on the picture modes, just click on that scroll wheel, and there you go. Now you can just select whichever one you want on that. And uh, yeah, nice and simple. Now, if we just get those back up again, and uh, in here we can go to all settings. So if I click on that, now this gets us our more complex in-depth settings. So you've got your advanced settings there for your picture modes, so on and so forth, general settings, loads of stuff in there. But as you've seen, a bit of a long-winded way around of doing it to get into those main settings, but there is a shortcut. So if we actually just go to that settings button again, but this time instead of pressing it just once, we hold it down for a long press, we should jump straight into those main settings. Now, whilst we're in these main settings, I wanna show you guys a couple of things. So uh, this pointer, now it might not be to everyone's taste being the size and how quick it moves, but we can adjust that if we want. So uh, if we go to general, then down to system, then to additional settings, then we can go to pointer options. And there we have the option to adjust the tracking speed. So we've got slow, normal, or fast. And then the pointer size. So you've got small. There we go, little in there. Medium, which we're on. And of course, the large. And I'll tell you what, we're gonna leave it on the large one. It's easier to see. Now, the next thing I wanna show you is about how to do the software updates. So if we back out of this and uh, go back to those settings just there. What we're gonna do is go to support. And once we're in support, we're gonna go to software update. And in there, we can go to check for updates, which will, funny enough, check for updates. If there is one available, it will say. And uh, what I would suggest is, when you've got the version number for that new update, go and check it online before you actually uh, commit to it because sometimes they can be wrong -uns, and that's the last thing that you wanna do. And another tip that I always say is to turn off the auto updates. So if it's like that, just knock it off because then that will stop the TV automatically updating and again, potentially stop it from downloading an update that isn't very good. Just heading back into the quick settings now. So one press on that settings button again. And uh, these quick settings at the side can be very handy. So you've got picture mode there, sound mode, sound out, so on and so forth. But if you don't like the ones that are on there or you don't like the order, you can adjust that. So if we go to edit mode, if we want, we could say move uh, that one there, press up, move it to wherever you want. There we go, and drop it in there. But if we wanted some additional ones, what we could do, if I just click on that, say, oh, uh, there we go, edit mode, sorry. And uh, if I go to delete and delete that off, what it allows us to now do is go to plus, and it brings up this list of uh, ones that we can add. So uh, if there's something that you want there, so let's just say that pointer size, but you know, we wanna change it you know, backwards and forwards all the time. Click on that, put it wherever you want. And uh, there you go, just drop it in. He says, oh, no, 
oh there, there it is. So yeah, easy enough to do and uh, quite a handy tool to have. Next, let's take a look at apps. So what we're gonna do is press on the home button. Just give that one single press and then it will bring up this full screen menu here. And this is where you'll find your apps list. Now, again, you can use the directional buttons if you wish to scroll through there, but I find it easier to just swipe across and it can go like that. Or if you so wish, what you can do is highlight something, push down on the button and just drag it backwards and forwards, he says, drag it backwards and forwards like that, or the whole page, he says, there we go up and down. But if you don't like the apps in the order that they're in, you can in fact move them about. So what I'm gonna do is go all the way over and you've got this edit button. So again on here, we can say go to Disney Plus, click on that and we can now just move that to wherever you want and press the back button, that will drop it into place. But there is a quicker way of doing it. So again, get that pointer up and uh, I'm gonna move Disney again. This time I'm gonna press down on the OK button. I'm gonna hold it down for a long press. And now, as long as I keep it held down, I can drag it around and drop it. There you go, how simple is that? Now my next tip is probably the one that I use the most. So at the moment I've got YouTube playing. And uh, you know what, I'd love to have a shortcut for YouTube, but unfortunately on the remote, there isn't one there, but you know what? I'm gonna make one. So what we're gonna do is pick any one of these numbers on here and hold it down for a long press whilst we're on the app that uh, we wanna create a shortcut for. So I'm gonna pick number eight. I'm just gonna hold it down. It says, do you want to add YouTube to quick access eight? And I'm gonna say yes. And there we go. That has now been added, as you can see, to that list. Now, if I just say go to the home menu now, and uh, wanna go back to YouTube in a hurry, could be like watching uh, normal TV, could be you know playing a games console or something like that, quickly wanna go to YouTube. Now, I just hold down number eight. There we go, we jump straight back into that YouTube app. Now, what about if you wanna create a shortcut and you are not on the app at the time? Well, there is a way to do that. So grab the remote control and just hold down number zero. That will bring up the edit quick access menu. And what we can do on this is uh, go to an empty one or go to one that's already being used, but I'm gonna to go to an empty one, press add. And then that will bring up a list of the apps that you can shortcut. Again, it's really handy. You've got loads of stuff on there to choose from. And uh, you know, you've got things even like the Art Gallery, which is a very nice uh, little app. So yeah, fill your boots with that. I think it's one that I'm sure everyone will use. Now my next tip is great for anyone who's got an issue maybe with their hearing or their sight. So uh, what we're gonna do is hold down on the settings button for a long press. Then we're gonna to go to general and down to accessibility, which then we are presented with loads of handy features. But that is a long winded way round of getting to it. And I know a shortcut. So grab your remote control and we've got the mute button. And if you simply just hold that down for a long press, there we go, straight into the accessibility settings. Now, whilst we're in the accessibility settings, just wanna show you this high contrast mode. Now, personally, I do like to have this on. Not that my vision is bad or anything that particularly, but um, I just think it makes it look a lot neater when it comes to the menus, because at the moment it's transparent. And uh, yeah, I'm not that keen on that. So personally, I like to turn on the high contrast mode. I just think it makes it just look a bit more appealing. So uh, not really a tip as such there, but you know, just a personal preference of mine that you may wanna do yourself. Now, whilst we've got the YouTube app up and running, got a little tip for you here, and uh, just wanna back out of the video just for a second. Let's just say I wanna search for something. So normally you'd have to go to search, and uh, voice search, you'd have to go over to that, press down on the button there, and just say what you want to search for. But I've got a quicker way of doing it. So if we just load up a video again, 
So now I want to search for something else. Well, I've got a quick way of doing it. All we do is grab the remote control and press the yellow button. The tech giant. And there we go, a much quicker way of doing a voice search on YouTube. Now my next tip is great for any external devices that are connected to the TV. Now if I just give the remote a quick shake and uh, press on the scroll wheel just there, we will get up this information saying about HDMI 1 and what's connected to it or whatever HDMI it is that we're on at the time. And uh, when you change the inputs, you will notice that this box will come up but it might not be in the most convenient of places. You know, it might be where you get uh, scores or something for this sport that you're watching. So yeah, it's not an ideal place for it to come up, but there is a way to change it. So if we go over to these three dots, just click on that, and then we scroll down, then we go to change banner location. Now we get the option of four places where we can change it to. So now I'm gonna to go top left. And there we go, we can have it up there instead. Now there is also a second way of doing what I've just shown you. So instead of going to those three dots on that menu, if you've not got it up at the time, what you can do is in fact press on the three dots on the remote. That will bring up that same menu. Once again, scroll down and go to change banner location. Now I've got another tip for you regarding the three dots on the remote. So this time, instead of pressing once, we're gonna do a long press on them. And there we go. Audio description is now on. But if you wanna turn it back off, again, just hold it down for a long press. Audio description is now off. Now my next tip is great if you want to find out some information about the TV. And when I say information, I mean like the model number, because not everyone remembers the model number, a serial number, so on and so forth. Now this could be handy maybe if you want to put your TV in for some sort of warranty work, they'll probably ask you for that serial number. So the way that we do that is we're going to do a long press on the settings button, then we're going to go to general, then devices, then TV management, and then finally TV information. Now I'm not gonna click on that because obviously it'll have details on there I don't wanna give out, but obviously in there you'll find all that information. And for some regions you may even get the screen on time, so the amount of hours that the screen has actually been active for. Right, next quick tip for you is regarding the inputs button. So if you press that just once, that brings up the inputs, and we can select using the pointer or the directional buttons just there. Or if we so wish, we can just keep pressing the inputs button and it'll actually scroll through them all. Now another tip regarding that inputs button. Now if we just press that once, again, we get the inputs there and then we can go to the home dashboard and click on that but there is in fact a quicker way of doing it. So if we just go back to YouTube, and this time what we're gonna do, we're just gonna do a long press on that inputs button, and that should take us straight to the home dashboard. So you've got your shiny new TV, but you think there may be a problem with the picture or the sound. Well, don't worry, there is a way to check. So if we do a long press on the settings button, we go down to support, and then in there we've got screen self-diagnosis and sound self-diagnosis. So we just click on that and this will play back a bit of music, asks you if it sounds okay or not. And you simply say yes or no and uh, take it from there. Now, one thing that can be annoying is when you turn on the TV that every time it fires up, it actually brings up this banner there we go at the bottom, showing the apps and trending now, which is great if you wanna access those things, but not everyone does. And uh, some people just wanna get straight into uh, the uh, TV programs or whatever it is, but there is a way around it. So what we're gonna do, do a long press on the settings button. Then we're gonna go to general. Then we're gonna go to system. Then we're gonna to go to additional settings, then home settings, and then home auto launch. 
So we're just going to turn that off. Come back out of that now. Turn the TV off. And then with any luck, now when we turn the TV back on, now it's your far up with no pop-ups at all. There you go, that is another load of tips and tricks for you. Like I said, some have been repeated from last time, but some fresh ones in there as well. And I'm sure if you are new to the channel or if you're new to the B1 OLED, those should come in very handy. Now I have got a load more tips and tricks to come, some really good ones. Trust me, you are gonna wanna tune in for them, proper good ones. No one's gonna be disappointed with them. And if you wanna see those, then please make sure you subscribe to the channel and are really important that you hit the bell icon so you get notified of those latest uploads. Now, if you've enjoyed this video today, please spare me one second of your time to just hit that thumbs up button. Makes a massive difference to the channel. Means that more people like yourselves get to see these videos. And uh, if you've not already subscribed, then again, please do that. And uh, yeah, well, that's it from me. And hopefully I will catch you guys on the next one. So bye for now.